she just threw her glass of alcohol on me. Oh. And got on my phone, a brand new phone. Frankie's out, she doesn't even know it. Time now is a ca can't see. So she doesn't know Frankie's out. Now I got alcohol all over me. I'm now sitting out here. And she's grabbing my property, my phone, and about ready to throw it at me. I don't even know if my cat's locked up in the shed right now. Really? Yeah, have you seen my cat? You're not going to try to attack me out here, are you? Okay. Don't fall. I won't, I won't come over there to pick you up. Not this time. Because you might hurt me. See what I mean? The fourth, but I don't have my glasses. I don't have a watch. I didn't look at the time recently, so I'm not sure what time it is. She just closed the door. And she just threw like maybe six, maybe five ounces, four ounces of tequila. It smells like tequila in a mixer. My phone's on my tripod now. You know why I don't want to take the tablet off? But I was going to be in the porch already, so she just opened the door. She's closed the blinds. She just opened the door to look out. I'm still sitting out here. She's left a mess. She's cleaned up absolutely nothing up. And um, she just locked the door. Maybe that she's gonna go to sleep. And I just took a little bit of caffeine. And it's cooling off. And uh, as long as I know she's in bed, I'll uh, start getting some stuff working in my favor. So many great pieces of information that needed to be edited and put together and it just seems to be so difficult in this particular situation. Yeah. I've got to figure out a way to get more control and if I go to the plasma center tomorrow and I make it. And I've got seventy dollars in my pocket. That'd be a damn damn good start. There she is again. If there's anything I can do, sweetheart, to help you, you let me know. I you know you're a little, uh, a little over the hill there. But if you follow, if you fall on your face, I'm not going to help you up, okay? So make sure you don't fall on your face. <laughs> As you fell out the cactus too, that is going to hurt. You need some help, hon? No, if you want me to help you up, you let me know. If I come over there, you might hit me.
gonna go to well karma I guess that's what that's all about that was my mom's cactus too that thing's done find an example when you do bad If you want me to help you up and you don't hit me, I'll come over there and help you. She told me to get away from her. So I'm not even going to go over there. During my time, this is the second time she slipped the dirt. <laughs> Seeing that everything was documented, I can guarantee you no one can say I pushed her down or she can call and say I hit her or anything stupid. People like to do that stupid stuff. Neighbors can't say nothing. No one can say nothing. Except I. I did nothing wrong. And even went out of my way to help her up told me to get the fuck away from her. I don't know what to do. But I'll tell you this much. Thank God it was recording. Time is... 5.28 p.m. I knew it was going to happen too. About 20 minutes ago earlier, I knew this was going to happen. She was already showing signs of this. What am I to do? Stay away. Too. Man, that's gonna hurt. I can't. And I know that cactus. Look at those tiny little thorns. Wait till she takes a bath <laughs> or a shower. Ooh, that's gonna be painful. she could do is use hot wax and hope that she can get most of it out. Even that's gonna burn. So she doesn't want me to call the emergency, she doesn't want me to help her up. She wants me to stay away. Hurt that bad because she can move, she can speak, she can tell me 
to get the fuck away, so he's just laying there. He doesn't have any broken arms, so. And she is breathing, so she's good. Even if she got up, she'd never make it to her bedroom. If you want me to help you get to your bedroom, I'll help you. Otherwise, the ants are going to get you. That's probably why she threw her the rest of her drink on me. Because she didn't want to drink it anymore. I guess she figured out a little too late. Stop drinking. At least she's not going to jail for a DUI, right? to get back to your bedroom so you can lay down for a little bit. Well, at least be careful, okay? I'll take care of it, but it needs to be repotted. And don't tell me to shut up, now. You know that's only going to get you some more bad luck. You know that. You gotta start being nice if you want your luck to change. You can't be mean. Why don't you throw the cactus out? That may be a little too much for you to handle. Are you talking to yourself again? Huh? I didn't hear you. Alright, we'll make it to the bedroom safe, okay? I'll leave this for you tomorrow to clean up. Are you going to work tomorrow? If you could walk. <laughs> it was funny. I recorded the whole thing. I got the whole thing. Wow. That's great stuff. <laughs> I'm going to actually watch that video again. I want to see it. Yeah, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to specialize this one. <laughs> this is one, one of, I guess, my top ten clips that I can remember. I've got a lot more than that. Then you fell in the shed, remember? When you were throwing a rage and you <laughs> you hit me and you fell. And then you fell out in the screen for a chair and then you tried to say I hit you. Man. I want to know how that leg feels. In your hand and arm tomorrow, okay? I might edit this and send you a clip. <laughs> I don't know. Man, 
man, she's dirty. <laughs> It's like watching a buffalo get up. <laughs> well, I guess she's gonna make it to her bedroom. Oh, she locked the screen porch. Well, let's see if she locked the door too. <laughs> and she shut the fan off. She didn't lock the door though, or maybe she did. I don't know. But she shut the fan off though. Check it out. <clears throat> okay. And she locked the screen door. And all the blinds are closed. <laughs> this is pathetic. I'm up now. In about an hour, I'm going to clean this mess up. It's pathetic, isn't it? I can't wait to watch the video, though. I might as well start now. She's going to be hurting from hitting that cactus. Bad situation. You only saw what I saw. You'd have been laughing. Really. You'd have been laughing. Because it was pretty pathetic, actually. Get this cleaned up, it's what it's cooling off. Wipe the grill. You plant the cactus. My mom's cactus, it's the right thing to do. Well, you know what they say, if you do bad, bad will dictate your passage, right?
I would never have left without checking. But Renfi was locked up in this hot shed. It's warm in here, it's not hot. I never would have left her. I knew that she was in here. Um, she doesn't even know her cell phone's out here. Her car keys. She's left us a pretty big mess. She didn't get a hold of any of my stuff, though. Trini, Poppy, and Rimpy go in there and hide. And she closes the shed door and it gets 120 degrees in there. It's real dangerous. Um, I'm pretty hot and sweaty. Really hot and sweaty. Okay. Going to do this one a little different. Get back ready. So right now, I'm cleaning up the steps. I'm going to clean up here. I took a little bit of caffeine, so I'm okay. This is an unbelievable mess. We all know just how clean I am.